dear beautiful souls. Oh, it's Dmitry or Dmitry Lov here, and today I want to talk to you about an interesting topic uh, of selecting a diet uh, with the use of the biowell without um, eating anything, re uh, just remotely holding something in your hand or testing different uh, kind of um, amulets, stones, uh, minerals, whatever other things can influence you that you can may potentially like uh, hold with you and bring with you uh, during the day and uh, to see if there will be some reaction. So how can you do such tests with the use of the Bible? Let's go. First thing uh, that you need to know, uh, like a disclaimer in this field of uh, investigations, whenever you're taking something in your hands, of course, there is an interaction between your body and what is uh, in your hand, what you're holding and interacting with. But not all the people are sensitive enough in order to show some significant difference. Some people are very uh, stable, like elephants and such small subtle things like holding something in the hand will not change their state. So it means that by using BioWell, or even that is very subtle and sensitive technology, you will not see any changes. Uh, but depending on the influence, of course, you may find some influence that will destabilize even this person. Or you have to check a person that is in unstable state at the current moment. So if the person is unstable now, you can try to stabilize the state by giving something and then measuring the reaction to see if it increases the stability or decreases the stress or opposite or everything stays the same. So just keep in mind that doing such kind of research and doing such kind of tests is not so simple. Not all the people react the same way to the same influence and some people are non-sensitive to such weak or ultra-weak influences. But let's imagine you, are, uh, you have found a sensitive person and uh, you are trying to find which type of food is good for this person, a food additive or some uh, medication that you want to see if there is a, a, there will be an allergic reaction or no. Um, some essential oil, you have a bottle, uh, etc. Or you want to see a reaction to some other stuff that person can just hold in the hand and uh, you don't need to inject it. Uh, so then BioWell is a pliable and it can help you to find the solution and select the proper diet or the proper nutrition or some uh, uh, essential oil, etc., etc. It doesn't matter what kind of influence you want to test. Um, so the protocol will be very simple. Uh, you need to test the person in the initial state in order to know the background levels. And then you will just provide something to hold in the hand to the person. Either person needs to hold this bottle or whatever, uh, some substance in the hand while scanning the other hand and then changing the hand. Or you may create some kind of pouch in which you will put this uh, tested object that will be held in this area while you're testing. In this way, you can even test for yourself so that your hands are free. So with one hand, you can click uh, the mouse and the buttons in the software, and the other one will be uh, inserted into the bio. Um, so theoretically, uh, the, you can use all types of uh, scans in the bio software. Full scan, stress scan, and one finger scan. All three modes are good, but the one that you may select depends on how much time you have. 
So if you have limited amount of time, then you will more probably concentrate on stress scans because you have to scan only two fingers. And in order to select which fingers to scan, you may think, okay, the object that I'm going to test should influence more respiratory system. Then it's better to select the two fingers that you will scan in this stress scan mode uh, that are connected with the respiratory system, for example, thumbs or pinkies, small fingers. If you are testing something that should potentially influence the liver, for example, you may uh, you should select the middle fingers on which uh, the liver sector is uh, situated. So uh, you are not obliged to measure each time in every research only the ring fingers as it is shown in our software. You can select the finger that you like and that is more uh, correlated with the sphere of influence. Okay, so select the finger that you will scan and then you just do the background scans, then you provide what is needed to the hand of the person and then you do scans uh, again. Uh, let's go to the BioWall software in order to see how it will look like. Okay, now we are in the software and um, here, when you do the full scan, of course, you have a lot of information, different parameters, nervous centers, overall analysis, the balances, etc., organs, energy, and systems, uh, energies, all the parameters that are available in the software are in, at your hands. But it takes a lot of time because you have to scan all 10 fingers uh, in order to select. And if you have multiple choices that you need to select from like 10, 20 of them, then of course it will take too much time to do full scans uh, with each uh, of them. So in this case, if you don't have enough time to go in depth with the full scan, you can do a stress scan mode. So I will just do a fast demonstration for you. It will not take a lot of time. So I'm doing first the background reading. So scanning left and right hand, one after another, and clicking analyze. So I need to repeat this at least two or four times. Of course, based on statistics, it's better to make it at least four times. As you can see, it doesn't take much time. So each scan takes like five seconds and to collect four of them, well, it can be done within one minute. So you see one, two, three, four, ready. They are, so they will be marked as before or we will, oh, it's better to mark them as background, okay. ready right so now i will hold something in the hand so potentially i can just hold in the hand i can inhale something um you can put something in the pouch on the solar plexus the heart area in here um you can ask the person to do something so it doesn't matter what kind of influence you are checking but for example in terms of food you can take the piece of this specific food in the hand and hold it. So if you want to select a diet for the person and find, for example, allergic products, potentially, maybe the person is so sensitive that you will be able to see it with the bio well uh, very fast. So I'm holding this thing. And uh, as long as I'm measuring myself, I'm, I will insert it here because it's complicated to click and uh, scan all together at once. Uh, so it's positioned here and I do stress scans again under the influence. So same fingers that I have been scanning initially, scanning them again. And here you can scan at least two times in order to see the difference. If you have time, you can repeat again four in order to be uh, able to compare it statistically uh, better uh, with a high quality.
two. Ouch. Third one. Third try. And the fourth try. So of course, in order to check the some product, some uh, mineral, whatever your food additive, whatever you are trying to uh, check, you need one minute per product. If you will do four scans for each, if you will just uh, limit yourself to two of them, then it will go in two times faster. So that's it. So we have done the experiment. So these four scans are under the influence. The four uh, initial are the background. So it means now we can compare and we can see if there is some reaction or there is no reaction, if the energy and stress stays the same or something has changed. In the stress scan, only two parameters are calculated, nothing else, stress and energy. Uh, nothing else can be discovered. As I told you, it's very fast, but like limited information. It's not the full scan. So of course you can calculate the average, you can see these uh, variabilities. And uh, well, for example, here we, you know, we might notice that the average energy has slightly increased under the influence of this thing. So again, this is the way that you can do such tests with the biowell and um, you can see the reaction of the body. Uh, if the stress is going up or going down, energy going up or going down, or it just normalizes, well, how to do this kind of analysis and how to understand and do the interpretation uh, better, I will record a separate video about exporting data, doing some statistical analysis step by step. And uh, I will explain in a separate video later on, okay? Uh, so. It means uh, that protocol that I have shown you right now, uh, it means that you can, with the BioWell, potentially do tests of various things that can influence our energy state and uh, select something that is more appropriate for the person, that decreases the stress, that increases the energy, etc. In one finger mode, unfortunately, there is no stress being calculated. Uh, you can only see the curve of the overall energy and its variability in time. So uh, it's uh, not so informative in comparison with the full scan and not so informative in terms of stress as the uh, stress scan, but still you can uh, select one finger and scan it in one finger mode before and then under the influence, same finger, same amount of time with the same interval. And then uh, see if the variability of the signal, uh, the trend of the signal or the absolute level of the signal change or not. That's it. Um, I hope this video will be uh, useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe and um, leave some comments. It will help others to find this video in the eternal sea of internet. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.